What's up, weirdos? And I say that word with love. Do you want to watch some weirdos? And I say that word with a little bit of judgment. Yeah, I think that it's a little bit weird when a 70-year-old man dates a 28-year-old woman. Yeah, I think I'm willing to stand on that. Because when I saw this thumbnail, I don't even know what to say right now. So we'll watch it, but... I mean, 28 years old, that is fully his great-granddaughter. And this is what the description of the video says. Jackie, 28, met David, 70, on an internet dating site in 2016 while he was traveling in the Philippines, her native country. That seems, you know, suspect. An old white guy traveling in the Philippines looking to pick up young girls. By the way, in 2016, which was, if I'm doing math, seven years ago, and she's 28, so she was... 21, but it was seven years ago for him. So yeah, she might have been 21, but he was only 63 That's yeah Yeah, you know a 21 year old girl. Are you a 21 year old girl? Hey Round of applause if you're a 22 year old girl 22 year old girls have the strong have the hardest are the strongest warriors in the world yeah. So let's get into this video and see what Jackie and David are up to because potentially this could be true love. So I don't want to be judging a book by its cover. I don't want to be gossiping. I don't want to be, you know, judging without... Let's... It's bad. This is 28-year-old Jackie. She fell in love with... 70-year-old David. No, she did it. I'm sorry. That's worse than I was expecting off the thumbnail. Why is he look like that? It's because he's 70 and everybody's allowed to age and you are beautiful no matter what your body looks like. But I mean, David, come on, man. That guy is dating a 28 year old woman. So that's the context of this video. He's got like yellow imperialist teeth. I'm so, you know what I mean? I'm not, listen, I don't want to say that everybody in the UK has bad teeth, but I would say that the people from the UK who practiced imperialism across the globe did look exactly like him. And that's fine, that's fine, you know. There's nothing more beautiful than somebody just conquering the world, I guess for tastier food, but then they don't use it, I don't know. Can somebody explain to me why the British people care about spices so much, but their food is so bland? I'm sorry, British food is very good, specifically when it's British food made by people who aren't British. You know, like curry, the good stuff to eat there. Anyways, let's keep going. David. We are in love. And there are 42 years between us. They are not, I'm, I'm, I was like really, okay, just trying to absorb all of that. What, what, what? The text on screen while the, they're in love. And he's leaning over her, kissing her, and she's going, ah! That is not true love's kiss. Trust me, I know true love's kiss. Because I've seen it a million times in my head, I've never experienced it. Though. But this was definitely not true love's kiss. Look at this. We are in love. She is fully like trying to matrix dodge out of that kiss. That's not a dip. That's not a romantic one of these. That's a- Give me them lips, girl. Give me them lips. Give me them lips. Come on now. Oh, David, stop. You elderly, scary f David to all his 87 year old friends. Oh, you know, we just have our little banter. By the way, that's how he talks. Listen to his voice right here. And there are 42 years between us. There are 42 years between us. Okay, Winnie the Pooh. He literally talks like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Christopher Robin, I know I'm an old bear, but I'd like you to take me in your little boy arms. Oh, Christopher Robin, give me some honey, Christopher Robin. Mm. Yeah, I don't like that. Winnie the Pooh should never be creepy. By the way, the people who made the Winnie the Pooh creepy movie, get it together. Winnie the Pooh is just a sweet little guy who likes honey. He's literally me. And the fact that you didn't have Ryan Gosling playing means that you weren't playing true to the source because Winnie the Pooh is me. Oh, Christopher Robin. And I'm 16 seconds in and I don't want to keep going. Let's do it though. Actually, let me get a drink. <laughs> I'll sip a soju along the way, which I haven't had a sip of any party, fun time, special drinks that I can't say the word on YouTube for some reason, but I haven't had a drop since the tipsy tearless Taylor Swift fiasco where I had three entire bottles of soju and my life fell into shambles. Literally don't remember filming that video and I can't tell you that the taste of this isn't going to make me gag. Oh no, it gives me flashbacks. Okay, maybe I'll sip it along the way because I need to loosen up to watch this. This is disgusting. But they're, you know, adults, I guess. But first, real quick, I want to give a thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Lilo. But they are a toy company, you know what I mean? An e-commerce website, and specifically their product, the Tor 3. It's an app connected vibrating. You can use the app to control the device. This is how it comes in the box. That's the whole reason I wanted to do this one so I could say that. And it's high quality packaging. It's a high quality package. <laughs> Got technology all around us. Why not embrace it in every aspect of your life? So if you're interested in nurturing or deepening your partnership, I think that this is a great way to go about that. And listen, they designed this one specifically to be great for you and for your partner. And with their dedicated Lilo app, it's an intuitive and 
easy, streamlined way to use it. By the way, just to be clear, it's wireless. It's like connected through the app through Bluetooth. Even though it's just the one thing that comes in that box, it's actually got eight different settings on it. And they made it with ultra premium, super smooth silicone that is warm to the touch. So if you're interested in heightening any experiences, click the link in my description, go to Lilo, and you can get the Tor 3 and look at their other products. Back to the video. Let's see what's going on with David and Jackie. The couple met in the Philippines seven years ago and got married after Jackie moved to the US. <laughs> no, that's foul, David. David. That's foul. Those pictures, look at these pictures again of them meeting in the Philippines. That is horrifying. These images would be equally as present in a documentary about, you know, I don't want to say a criminal. Dude, they're married? That's her man? Jackie, you could do so much better. Oh my goodness. We hope that others who watch us on TikTok. David, what? You are a 70 year old man with a TikTok with your 28 year old wife? You have a 28 year old, you married her, I guess when she was 21 and you were 63. David, 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 ew, David, ew. You know what I mean? I genuinely really second guess myself when I make jokes like that because I'm afraid that the perception of me is that I'm being a pick me and I'm s saying girl jokes. I like Shit's Creek. Oh, I'm sorry I like Shit's Creek and saying things like, Oh boy, I like it. I'm not a pick me when I do that. Ew, David! I'm a Schitt's Creek fan and I like New Girl, okay? And I like Barbie, I did. I wouldn't have gotten a tattoo of Barbie if I didn't love Barbie. Not everything is a calculated plot to get more people to like you. I just am myself and I, okay, clearly one sub of Soju has already got me feeling honest or I'm subconsciously trying to avoid this video. Oh, Christopher Robin. We hope that others who watch us on TikTok draw hope and inspiration from that. Okay, so just pay attention to his words. We hope people on TikTok watch us and draw inspiration. What are you talking about? So yeah, I'm an old man who posts videos like this. I look like an old man from the Polar Express on TikTok with my 28 year old girlfriend. Girlfriend, wife, a, a wife. I cannot believe that that's his wife. And he thinks this will inspire them. Ha! You hope it inspires more old white men to go to the Philippines and marry young Filipina, Filipinas? Filipino women, Filipinas? I like saying Filipinas because the last two syllables, that's like, Oh my god, I never thought about that. Okay, I shouldn't say that then. Filipino women. Anyways, old white guys are creeps. <laughs> Let's get back into it. But not everyone believes their happiness and love is genuine. <laughs> yeah, I don't. By the way, she talking about me. Get your hands off of her. I just paused it right here just to talk. Get your feet. I know that they're married. They're married. In true love and love can surpass. All things, that's what Christopher Nolan said in Interstellar. Love transcends time and space, which by the way is a good line. Shut up about it being corny. What that line is saying in the context of Interstellar is that these fourth dimensional beings knew that she experienced this love, so it would draw her to a place that is an illogical conclusion. Logically, she shouldn't want to go to where her past love is, but the fourth dimensional beings know that she would forego logic in order for, for love, so that's what it is. I'm just spinning my tires because I see his 70 year old finger touching her 28 year old Waste. Oh, Christopher Robin. What are you doing, Grandpa, with her? I am a gold digger. A green card digger. My family. Okay. We don't need any inserts of them kissing. I'm not opposed to intimacy on camera. I'm not. I think it's beautiful. I'm not one of those, keep it offline! I'm not one of those people who's like triggered by seeing kissing or more scenes in movies. But that is a real life seven year old man and his real life 28 year old wife. And I, hey, don't film the kiss. Or do, I guess, if you want to be shocked. It unsettles the spirits. Gold digger, green card digger. I'm just gonna say right off the bat, it could sound like there is a world where I would go down that path in the commentary where I'm like, what is she doing? If you are the one critiquing the 21 year old Filipino woman who was dragged from her country by a 63 year old man with promises of stability and a, and a happy future. If you get mad at her, take three steps back, look at a mirror and then spit on your reflection. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was too extreme. Come on, it, she, she's fine. It's obviously the 63 year old man who went to another country and then took back a 21 year old girl that's the creep here. You know what I mean? So yeah, what are you doing, grandpa? My name is David and I'm 70 years old. My name is Jackie, I'm 28 years old. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not like replaying stuff. We're still progressing in the video, but so far the plot of this is I'm Jackie, I'm 28 years old. I'm David, I'm 70 years old. Hey, my name's Jackie, and I've got an older husband. I'm David, and my wife is so young. Hey, I'm Jackie, I'm a younger, that's like just the only thing they've talked about. Let's get to it. I'm retired, Jackie has a job, and we've been together for more than six years. I was using a dating site 
One day I saw your profile. I practically jumped out of my chair. <laughs> I was so impressed by what I saw. Are we just gonna roll by the fact that this 63 year old man was in the Philippines looking at a dating app with the intention of meeting up with young girl? You know, regardless of the fact that they, I guess, are in true love together. You know, obviously this romance is perfect and there's no issues with it at all. But say he didn't find true love. His actions were an old man looking to pick up young women in the Philippines. And you know, in my opinion, Ew. We met for the first time in person at a Starbucks. It was fun. It was fun. I did not review his profile. I don't have an idea how he looked like. <laughs> Maybe that worked to my advantage that she didn't know what I looked like <laughs> before we met for the first time. But it all worked out in the end. She didn't know what he looked like and she still met up with a stranger at a Starbucks? And she saw him and let it slide? Wait, 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 wait. How could they have matched on a dating app and she not know what he looks like? They would have had to like make plans, set up like a whole schedule. How does she not know what he looked like throughout that whole process? The only thing that makes sense is if he didn't have pictures on his profile, which again, <laughs> David, you, <laughs> David. <laughs> Can I call you brother? Have you lost your mind? A 63 year old man in the Philippines on a dating app looking to pick up young Filipino women and you're doing it anonymously without your picture? Nine times out of ten, that turns into a crime. I'm not saying this isn't a crime. It feel it's not a crime. It's, as far as I know, if something does not need to be criminal to be immoral. And the things that he was doing that led to this true love marriage, I would say are the exact same things that people who are in Andrew Tate's line of work also do. You know what I mean? Oh, and by Andrew Tate's line of work, I don't mean getting a picture where you're surrounded by beautiful women and still looking incredibly Okay, I'm sorry. I could say with a straight face. I, look at this picture though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. I just can let this picture for, speak for itself. Okay, let's keep going though. Let's keep going. Anyways, what I was saying is that this old creepy David dude is probably doing things that a- Oh, I'm in a lot of traffic. Oh, there's a lot of traffic or uh, traffic. What that type of people would do. That's what David did. The actions. I'm not saying he did that, but like, oh my God. Oh, Christopher Robin. We got together two or three more times before I returned to the United States. Yeah. You were 21 at the yes. time, and I was 63 at the time. No, age wasn't a big factor in, in my search. It just happened to be that in Jackie's case, she happened to be much younger than me. How come with these old men, they always throw around age is just a number, but it only applies to very young women. They say age is just a number and that age doesn't play a big factor in their search, but they're somehow always with 20 year old women. It's never a 60 year old man going, yeah, age is just a number though, and she's 80. Also, age kind of should play a big part in your search for a relationship. You would think you would want somebody who you have general chemistry with and a common understanding or upbringing in the world. He was born in the 50s, the 1950s. He grew up on Leave It to Beaver. He grew up not watching it on Netflix, watching it on broadcast. She grew up watching Degrassi. And then came to the United States and then got married in February of 2018. Yes. So this is my wedding dress. When I wear this dress on my wedding day, I feel like I'm happy with the dress and then I'm happy with the person that I met. Mary. <laughs> I believe her. I believe her. I would never say that she's lying, but that didn't sound very believable. When I was wearing this dress, it was so beautiful and I thought, I love that I'm wearing this dress and that I was getting married to date. It was a classic little sitcom scene right there. Look at all those books. Really book and door city over there, am I right? What am I talking about? Let's keep going. Oh, Christopher Robin. Our wedding day was fun. It was the best day of my life. My parents and my siblings couldn't make it here because they're in the Philippines. Yeah, because David intentionally wanted to separate you from them so that they couldn't stop you from marrying a 70 year old man. That's crazy. Yeah, so David and I got married and I didn't know anybody there. It was just a lot of his friends who are 70 and 75 years old and they were all kind of like looking at me like I was a, a toy. <laughs> that is so sad. She got married like alone. I'm sure she had her friends friends that she made in America. Shut up, David. But those are his friend's grandchildren that she's friends. You know what I mean? If they want to hang out, if they want to have like a dinner party, she either has to hang out with elderly people as her peer. Like, 
Oh, that's my husband, your friend. You know, that's weird. Or he has to hang out with people in their 20s, which honestly, after seeing those TikTok moves, I could see him fitting right in. He'd do great in one of those TikTok houses. He's really Colleen Ballinger coded if you think about it. He's not a groomer, he's just a loser. Dave's friends and sister-in-law was here, so I was okay about it. I was saying the worst case possible scenario and then I felt guilty about it and then she just confirmed it. Oh yeah, I know it was nice, his friends and you know, sister over there. Yeah, messed up, David. Messed up. Messed up like how you're... Fi I don't want to say... Have you seen Benjamin Button? That's all I'm going to say. Have you seen Benjamin Button? Actually, yeah, I can say that. He looks like first act Benjamin Button. Basically saying he looks like Brad Pitt, you know? I won't regret when I married Dave because he's a really nice man. He loves me. He respects me. So he's the best. So we are we, uh, both age go. I don't have any problem at all. I had concerns about the age gap, but it wasn't from my perspective, it was from Jackie's perspective. So when I was courting Jackie, I would constantly remind her about the age gap. I know that that's probably intended to be sweet and we should have an optimistic and charitable view of somebody's actions. So sure, sure. But you like bringing it up a bunch and still going through with it feels like a thing that you just liked to think about. It feels like you just wanted to keep that present in the, you know, relationship, you know? Because if you actually cared, then you wouldn't date a 28 year old. Sorry, be married to a 28 year old woman when you're 70. If she signed a prenup and she isn't getting any of his money, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm not saying she's a gold digger, but with his old ass in the life that he's stealing from her, she has a right to pick up a shovel and excavate. Oh, Christopher Robin. And I would remind her that I'm older than her parents. You know, every time we got together, especially at the beginning, I would say to Jackie, are you sure you want to go through with this? And every time, without hesitation, Jackie would answer, yes, I do. Look at the dress. Wow, your wedding dress. If I saw that in a movie theater, when he opened the door, I'd go, ah! <laughs> it's like a jump scare, literally. What is this, mother? Anytime I see the title for mother, I just hear it in Buster's voice from Arrested Development. <laughs> that dark, twisted Darren Aronofsky, Jennifer Lawrence pick. I see that and I go, mother, mother. Wait, I can actually do a really great Buster impression for Arrested Development. If you don't know, I can't imagine why you'd care, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's terrible. That's just my Phoebe from Friends impression. Oh, no. What am I doing? Let's get back to this terrifying picture. She's been here now almost six years, and she's made a wonderful adjustment to life in the United States. And I think part of that stems from the fact that she likes it here. These photos are priceless. Oh no, no. Oh no, she deserves like a beautiful, sweet dream wedding. Oh no, oh, David. David, David, no David, ew David. You can't marry her in a hotel lobby and have your wedding pictures be taken. With the worst lighting I've ever seen by apparently the judge. <laughs> like they're literally handing him his wedding document and then taking the picture at the same time. Ani's bending over doing a little <clears throat> This is what sucks. Does look sweet. Like in these pictures, he genuinely looks like a really sweet guy. However, he did go to the Philippines when he was 63 years old with an anonymous dating profile and try to pick up young Filipino women. I guess looks can be deceiving. <clears throat> Everything came off just perfectly that day. Right. Took a lot of courage on her part to make the move. She was leaving the only life that she ever knew. If she was leaving her family and friends, and that took a lot of courage and spoke a lot about her. Everything he's saying is like very sweet and empathetic and nice. But that doesn't change what he did or who he, like, how are you processing this? Could you comment and like tell me what you're feeling at this specific point in time, like this part of the video? I genuinely feel conflicted right now because how can he seem so sweet and so sincere? And like all of the problems with what he's doing, he seems like fully self-aware of it. And like he's communicating his gratitude for her and his understanding of the strangeness of the situation, he, like very clearly. But it's the action itself that's bad, not the intention behind the action. This is the same thing I talked about in Colleen's video where sure, she wasn't texting people with the intention of getting together with young kids, but she was doing the things that you would do if you were wanting to do that. It's bad. Even though he's empathetic and self-aware and seemingly sincere, sweet, and kind, it's in the face of one of the grossest things I've like can imagine. I can imagine way grosser things, by the way. This whole situation covered in poop. This whole situation covered in poop and pee. This whole situation happening twice covered in poop and pee. <laughs> covered in caca and wee whiz? Ew, that's gross. <laughs>
<laughs> I want to know what you think though. Also, real quick, at this part of the video, I just want to tell you, I love you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. I seriously am so grateful for that. We just hit 700,000 subscribers and I had like nothing at the beginning of the year. Literally, I basically started YouTube in January and I've gained 700,000 subscribers since then. And it's like the community, how nice you guys are, how creative you are, like edits and fan art and stuff. It's insane. The support on these necklaces has blown me away in a way, like I can't even tell you how much. It's something that I think about and I talk about like with my parents when I call them. Every time I call my parents, I'm like, I just can't believe that this is the life that I'm experiencing right now. And it means so much to me. By the way, necklaces, yeah, you can get them at weirdothings.com. I restocked all of them. It's just like, when I launched them, I had no idea that they were gonna, I didn't know what to expect. And it's been insane. And it has like actually led to a future where I'm gonna be able to do, you know, more things with this. I'm really excited about it. And I'm just so grateful for you. And I love you so much. At the time my mother was still alive, she really loved you. I know, that's why she gave me this ring. This ring that was a uh, family heirloom. This was been passed down through the years. Now it sits on your finger. What is happening? He had a mother while they still met? I guess, yeah, he's 63. That wasn't that old when they met. I'm saying that for all my 63 year old followers out there. By the way, people who watch my videos in, in your 40s, 50s, and 60s, hey, comment below. I love you guys. It's so validating when I go in and check in like my followers analytics and I see the way the age breakdown is like, it's adults first. It's so cool. And you know, first and foremost, obviously. 18 to 24, 18 to 24, rise up! Sorry, I thought, sorry, misread the situation. Let's keep going. No, let's not keep going. Let's talk about the thing that I was trying to talk about. Sorry for cussing. His mother, his elderly ass mother gave her wedding ring, the family heirloom, to be given to this young woman from the Philippines who her 63 year old son fell in love with. I can't imagine that you would give a family heirloom to your son if he's marrying somebody that like you think is weird and you don't approve of the situation. So that feels like a very, very distinct, so it's not, just him. Also, his mother made a massive decision to endorse this marriage. Everything in this situation is like a normal, healthy relationship between two people who can communicate and can appreciate each other, except the entire way that they met and that massive gap in their ages. And seemingly, by the way, I mean, it's fine. You can be with somebody and have like a different type of relationship. It just feels like there's something better for her out there. It just feels like this isn't the best for both of them. And that's really what we wanted the film Cooper Channel. The best for everyone. And generally the best for everyone involves nobody being a bad person. So, so if he real quick could find a beautiful, kind, sincere 70 year old woman and she could find a, I don't know, a young hot hunk. If she had a young hot hunk, that'd be nice. Go get your young hot hunk, girl. I think this is older than me. <laughs> yes, probably older than me too. <laughs> You're the best love. Damn, okay. She pulled him in for that kiss. Okay, she took charge right there. She said, get in here, you old mothball. <laughs> Jackie, dude. Amazing. So we never grow out of it. Men never grow out of that. Oh, she doesn't want to see your grandpa's record collection unless she truly loves you. And it, I guess she truly loves him. But that's so second act Ken. Hey, let me sit down and tell you about Godfather. It's the Godfather, actually. Being a 70 year old man who has his 28 year old wife sit down so we can talk about his record collection and for her to genuinely be interested in it and say that she loves it. Does she love him? You know what? If she loves older men that she should be able to have whatever she wants and it's not my place to judge although david as a 63 year old man did go to the philippines with an anonymous dating profile and try to pick up young uh, filipino women yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so we can't, we can't forget that <laughs> what do you call the thing that you're gonna play with this it needs a uh, a needle huh <laughs> what do you call the thing that plays this uh it's a record what do you what do you call it? a needle <laughs> their relationship they need to find other people because they don't understand each other although He's making an effort, clearly. He's doing TikToks with her. By the way, we are fully gonna go watch their TikTok page. 100% gonna go watch their TikToks. You do five seconds and back out, and then we'll do it together. Yes, sir. Okay, so he's taking charge. He's the TikTok diva here. He's the drama queen. Okay, I'm gonna do five seconds in, and then I get out, and then you get your ass in there in five seconds, or I'm gonna rip your f***ing balls off. Okay, Winnie, okay, Winnie. And if you don't hit that nay nay, I'm gonna f No, no, I said it's about damn time. <laughs> Oh man, I'm deeply invested in their life in a way of deep concern. <laughs> At first I made a video online just for fun during the lockdown. But last year we decided to upload more videos of us together to like inspire other people who are in age gap relationships. Get it, king? Okay, that is what they said. He's, by the way, not a king, I'm being sarcastic. But honestly, woo, woo, that is how he would dance. Looking at his Mr. Peanut ass. 
That's fully how he should dance. That's so, and he's so spry. He's like a little guy. A little guy who is a 63 year old man who went to the Philippines with an anonymous dating profile trying to pick up uh, young Filipino women. But she said we made this to inspire people with a similar dating age gap that it's not that weird. So you're saying you do it to normalize something that is explicitly problematic and very toxic for young girls and could lead to a lot of bad situations where it uh, justifies it and older men are able to use it to manipulate younger women into being relationships with them because you're normalizing it, right? Because to, to encourage that type of thing. Hey, if you genuinely genuinely are happy with this man who apparently deeply cares about his record collection and has talked to you about it extensively to the point that they want to bring it up in this eight minute video of your entire life and you don't even know that it's played by something called a needle which could be an age gap thing sorry language barrier <laughs> a little slip there it could be a language barrier thing it just doesn't feel right and if there's one thing i know it's what true love is because i'm the love doctor and i think that as the love doctor i can diagnose them as not being in true love so having a TikTok where you normalize this is weird. I think this is gonna take a little bit of editing. <laughs> I think that was probably better. Good. That was a good <laughs> video, Tiki. <laughs> I'll post now. Overall, we've received very positive judgments. Really? Also, the shot right before he said that, where he's like, I don't know. Guy with nice hands, and he's like, and they're like clearly in love with each other, and it's like, oh, they they gotta be touching each other. That's romantic and sweet, and it's kind of steamy a little bit. I'm thinking about reading A Court of Thorns and Roses. Is it too inappropriate? I don't like seeing a 70-year-old man holding a 28-year-old woman's wrist like that. It's just my taste, though. I just think it's creepy, though. It's just me personally. It's just how I feel. But I'm not trying to be a pick-me, and in an effort to not be a pick-me, I think David's a king. Yeah, no, I think it's cool when 70-year-old men date young girls. I think that's sick, and I'm not a pick-me, so that's why I'm saying stuff. Because if I were to be grossed out by something that's objectively gross, and then voice my disgust by saying, "Ill David! That would make me a pick-me. To not be a pick-me, you have to explicitly love everything that's gross and misogynistic. <sighs> I'm a little bit agitated. I'm a little bit agitated. I'm just being myself! Okay, let's keep going. And I'm not that really affected because it's not true i know myself you know that i i'm not a gold digger right i pay most of the bills but jackie has a job to support my family to support her family that's w really what i think it, it kind of comes down to and that's what's gross about it because in a lot of these situations he gets the benefit of having a young beautiful wife who's full of life and her benefit is safety stability and a better working environment so that she can provide for her family back home so of course they support support it because it's funding their survival. It's a really messed up situation. Can you say she's using him for that? I don't know their relationship. I don't know. But if that were the case in a hypothetical situation, would you be able to say that she's using him? But it doesn't mean that she's doing something wrong and he's not. People who immigrate to another country for like better work opportunities and the ability to provide for their family back where they grow up, a lot of the time there's like desperation that goes into that decision and desperation can, you know, Desperate times call for desperate measures, desperate measures being a 70-year-old man named David. That doesn't make her a bad person, if that's what she's doing that. You can't blame her for that, you can't. But you can blame him, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just because they're both getting something out of it doesn't mean that both of their actions are as immoral as each other's. She, hypothetically, in this hypothetical situation, would be a desperate young girl who's trying to provide for her entire family. And he would be a 63-year-old man in another country, anonymously with an anonymous dating profile trying to pick up young Filipino women. Filipinas. 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 Is it Filipinas or Filipino women? Note that it is also correct to say Filipino for a male and Filipina for a female. Never use or say Filipino. Okay, okay. Anyways, he was trying to pick up young Filipinas. And I think that that can, you know, put his action and his character in a worse light than hers when she's just doing what she needs to do to survive and provide for her family. Also again, just to clarify, I don't know that this is for a fact and she's denying it and he's denying it. They're saying it's true love, but obviously you have to say that. You have to say that it's true love. I am just saying, if it's not true love, which would be a massive stretch of the imagination based on the way they're dancing. If they're not truly in love with each other, it's not her fault. She's not a bad person in that situation. He still, in my opinion, kind of is. My life has improved dramatically since we met each other. I just couldn't be happier. I feel like I could have avert my eyes from, from watching it. Let's get off of this. Could you let me know what you actually think 
about their relationship? Do you think that it's real? Do you think that it's not? It's at worst, very creepy for him to do that. It's at best, very creepy for him to have done what he's done. And at worst, you know? But let's go look at their TikTok. <laughs> I wanna see what they're posting. <laughs> Okay, they seem to be doing well. Replying to, uh, she is mentally ill by, I guess, jokingly making herself look mentally ill, which is, uh, tying paper towels in your hair, making your face look dirty, and tying a croc to your pigtail. Seems a little bit insulting to people who struggle with mental illness, but you know what? I'm edgy Cooper, so I'm just gonna say, Hey, that's, hey, that's funny! Cause I'm not a pick me. Hey, I think it's funny to do shit like that! People with depression, who cares? <laughs> What? He's literally got medicine in his hand. This is insanity. Wait, by the way, P Buck 71 right here. She's an absolute gold digger medalist. Dot, dot, dot. Gotta love how low they stoop to get the money in a card. What do you mean by they? I know you're not talking about Filipinas. If you ever say anything negative about a Filipina in front of me, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna pull up with Noel Miller. And <laughs> we're gonna beat your Filipina hating ass. We're gonna wallop you, okay? And I don't know Noel, but I know that if we sipped one bottle of soju together, I could see us chuckling along with each other. Go-karts, F1 racing, slot machines, not being Filipino. <laughs> I mean, it's the best thing that I- ah, well! Hey, hey, what are you doing? Does he move anymore? Is he immobile? Is he stuck there? These are two separate videos, by the way. He's just sitting there while she's draped all over him, giving him loving kisses. If that's not indicative of what it's like, to be a man that I don't know what is. That is me being a pick me if I said stuff like that. I've said stuff like that. I'm a little bit of a pick me, but I'm getting better. I like Nightcrawler and I'm not gonna say I don't. I do. Oh yeah, I watched Drive. I drive. I liked it. Oh, you probably love Christopher Nolan. Yes. And the least pick me movie that I like is Only God Forgives. Yeah, I watched some Ryan Gosling movies recently. <laughs> I think he's cool. Yes, I'm making you. Yeah, don't do that. Don't and by the way, the behinds of the scenes of this video is she says, Hey, David, I'm gonna set this camera up and I'm just gonna lay all over you and kiss all over you. And he goes, okay, well, I guess you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Literally, yes. A vision eye exam thing behind him on the door because he's afraid that by the day he's losing his vision. If you have that type of board in your house, that means you're afraid that your vision could go at any moment. <laughs> and that ancient, I'm not gonna say any bad words, old guy is married to a 28 year old beautiful Filipino woman. Are you okay, love? Yeah, I'll be done in a few minutes. Yeah, we'll go in a few minutes. <laughs> Wait a second. I mean, this is kind of cute. They're sitting at the sitting on the floor of a bookstore together, and he's just reading a book. He's just stealing. You can't read in a bookstore. You know that, right? If you read those words, that's like stealing. They're selling those words to you by the page. You have to pay for the book. You have to pay for the pages. You have to pay for the words. If you open up a book and start reading it, yeah, that's stealing. That's theft. That's corporate fraud. That's why he's getting canceled. Cancel Dave. Ew, David. Ew, David. Are you stealing? I'm doing a terrible impression. I wish I was good at doing that impression, and I wish that this 70-year-old man didn't date a 28 year old woman because I think it's gross, I think it's icky, but say lovey, true love is what true love is. Please tell me what you think about this whole situation. I've already told you kind of, you know, I think you know where I'm coming from, but I don't know, man, it's weird. I love y'all weirdos though. Please subscribe. I have a fun time filming, filming, filming these type of videos. I don't like it when it gets into drama. Like the Spider-Man Lotus one. That's why I didn't want to talk about like the drama or the allegations or like how Norman Osborn, not Harry Osborn, had grooming allegations. People just, they, everything gets like so muddled and messy and it, but this type of thing where it's like, I wouldn't call this drama. It's just crazy stuff that we're looking at together. I really like making videos like this. And I really, 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 